Ladies and gentlemen, it's Silver, your host. And for our next episode of Silver Tries, I am bringing you a game that barely anybody knows exists. Shaolin, developed by Polygon Magic and published by THQ. A very, very fun and almost unheard of martial arts game. Yes, a martial arts RPG. Put that into perspective. Now you won't have heard about this game before, or it's highly unlikely that you will, because it didn't even get an American release. It was released in Japan and Europe only, and it was released in Japan under a different title, Lord of Fist. So, what are we gonna do? We are gonna begin a new game. <clears throat> Now, you basically have to, you pick a character, you name the character, and then you begin your own Chinese style martial arts adventure, or wuxia, as is known in China. There's a term for martial arts adventures called wuxia. Right, we're obviously gonna go male. You can be a girl though. You have to pick a starting martial art. There are six to choose from. Shaolin, Jeet Kune Do, because every martial arts game needs to pay homage to the legend Bruce Lee. Tai Chi Chuan, Eight Extremities, Eight Extremities Fist, also known as Baji Quan, Hungar, and of course Drunken Boxing. We are gonna go for the purpose of this run with Hungar. Now we need to make our character. <clears throat> the default name is June, but for the sake of this run, we are going to go. I think we're actually going to go authentically Chinese. And we're going to go. Jian, or Jian, as Westerners would say it, also pronounced as Jin by the Chinese. An homage to an old classmate of mine from back when I was um, in business school. Very nice guy. Hope he's well since he's gone back home now. Right. And each. Here you go. At long last, the half century of terror was overthrown, and peace was restored. But even in the midst of celebration, dark clouds loomed on the horizon. Is that all we're getting for our opening? Yeah, it is. So, let me explain something. Um, Fujio City, Hungar Temple. Right. Every martial art is its own playthrough. Because not only does your martial arts influence your character's fighting style, you literally get a different storyline for each martial art you pick. So we have this open world view here. You can zoom out and look at the city in its fine PS1 graphics. We can talk to people we, we meet in the street here. Oh, Gian, were you looking for me? You can ask to accompany the lady. Shall we try? You want a date? You are a fool. Go back to your training. And people will walk up to you in the overworld map and usually want to fight you in some way. Let's play. You're about to witness the combat style of this game. It's um <clears throat> definitely an experience. 
and experience is the term we will use for this. I like it. But then again, this is um, a game I played when I was a really, really young kid. Like, oh my lord, when did I play this game? I must have been like, I don't know. Eight or nine or something? Right. It's... Right, let's change targets. Okay, better be careful. We're extremely weak when the game begins. Ow. Damn it. Right, one down. Okay. Got him. Winner. Yeah, you literally start off this game as a kid, and... Fine, fine voice acting. But yeah, you start off this game as a kid and get this. Not only do you level up through winning battles and your stats increase and become sh you become stronger, like a full-blown RPG. Yes, your stats increase and you become stronger. You learn new fighting moves um, by defeating temples. And get this. You also... actually get older as the game progresses and yes you actually grow up and grow older as the game progresses so you go from being a young boy to a full-grown adult or a young girl to a full-grown adult right we can't talk to this kid here Jan oh sorry Jin I need to get the western pronunciation out of my head we're playing a we're playing a Chinese-inspired game. Jin, chasing after women. You ought to be ashamed. Oh, and by the way, after after that first fight, I will be editing down the loading screens slightly in post because this game has a lot of loading screens and they take up a lot of time. You ought to be ashamed. Training will straighten you out. Come on. We'll fight them. Here I come. Okay. Right. Come on, guys. There we go. Winner. Right. There we are. To be fair, I've been considering bringing this to the channel for a long time. But if I was to do a full-size playthrough of it, I'd wait until I've got slightly better editing software and probably make this into like a four hour long long play of one specific storyline because well unless people want to see it in parts I don't mind bringing it to people in parts oh I am so angry right yeah the reason we're gonna edit down some of these loading screens is because if you count every loading screen in the game that's more than a couple of seconds long, we'd probably end up having about 10 minutes of loading screens in this hour-long part. Oh, Jin, what would you like to eat? For you, there will be no charge. Yes, when you... When you are playing as a kid, um, at the beginning of the game, at least in most of the storylines, you don't have to pay for your food. Because obviously you're a young kid. Shumai. You will have the Shumai? Fine. One minute, please. Now, whenever we take damage in battle, it chips away at our vitality gauge. 
Hey, are you sure you want to do that? Yes. Come again another time. Now, this game is also pretty interesting for the time it came out at. Oh. Yeah. Put simply as well, the amount of food you eat determines how you grow up. If you end up eating too much food, you will grow up to be real. Well, you can grow up to be quite overweight. In fact, you can actually get fat. <laughs> so, and that can also, I believe, it affects you aesthetically, obviously. But I don't know if it plays into your stats, so I wouldn't take the risk. So, we can't leave the starting town until we've defeated the first temple. So we need to go and do that. Ignore her. Now, the temple, I believe, is here. Yes, the temple monk is here. What are you doing, Jian? You were not late because you were too busy looking for pretty girls, were you? I cannot believe you're that interested in pretty girls. Everyone in town is talking. But you must not let your mind stray any longer. Um, you begin to train um, for real fights today. Are you prepared? Yes. The five of us will challenge you one at a time. Yep. I will be the first. Let us begin. Or I will be first. Let us begin. So yeah, the the storyline is different for every playthrough. And this one is very typical of, you know, you know Chinese wuxia adventures. Our character is basically exploring the land to find the prettiest woman in the land to take as his wife and also become a master martial artist right okay Got him. Perfect. Yes. Winner. Yeah, I think at one point or another, I have played through the in well every single storyline in the game at least once over the years. In fact, I think I own a stupid amount of copies of this game because it really is just a a small, lesser known budget title that didn't come out anywhere outside of Europe and Japan and it was very cheap and you can easily find copies of it kicking around on Amazon and eBay really cheap like for a copy in good condition you're looking maybe um, I don't know 12 to 15 bucks US which is like I don't know 10 11 pounds in UK money and for a, just for a copy that's you know in in reasonable condition usually without the guide you can get them for as cheap as maybe you know eight or nine dollars or maybe like you know six or seven pounds something like that here's your second opponent begin now after the after we finish fighting the second guy um, second or third guy, I'm going to fast forward some of these fights to make them a bit quicker so you can experience more of the story. Because I am very happy to be bringing this one to you, even though it's like a really unknown game. An unknown, pretty much small game. I'm mega happy to be bringing it to you. It came out very late in the PS1's lifespan as well, pretty much like the end of its lifespan. I think it came out in like 2000 and. 1, 2002. Good soundtrack, though. Oh, God. Nope. See what I mean? You start off really weak. Really weak. You start off 
really weak. Like, we were doing alright there, but we can't lose again. If we do, we're gonna die, and it's game over. See what I mean? He basically one-shotted us there. Like, it's taking us all this effort to defeat him. Perfect. And... Winner. Well, yeah, because you basically, it's realistic. You're playing as a kid. You know, you're not going to hit very hard. You'll need a nap, Grandpa. Right. Okay. One thing I am going to do before we keep fighting is go back to the... Go back to the restaurant and get some food. Because we need to get our health back up. Before we keep fighting. Because our vitality is crazy low. And it's going to affect our health. Will you continue? Not yet. I see. Then we shall continue tomorrow. There's not a lot of urgency. To finish the. First town. Like. Everything is really laid back usually. Both in the storyline and the actual fights in the first town. So you can just kind of coast through it at your own pace. We'll get a vegetable uh, a vegetable soup. A vegetarian soup, because I, I was trying to say vegetarian and vegetable at the same time there. Apparently. Good. There we go. And We'll grab a shumai as well. That'll do. You don't want to eat in excess. Because if you do, you will get fat. <laughs> so, we're not going to do that. It tends to be best to eat just enough food to refill most of your vitality bar and then you're usually all right after that right after this fight we'll speed up the next couple because i just want to show you the the level up system and how your stats increase because i think we're close to a level up now we're nearly level two But yeah, I'm, I'm very happy to be bringing you guys Shaolin. It's a fun experience for me. I'm going to try and get to the end of the first town if we can. It might be hard to defeat the Grand Master at level 2 or 3. But we might try. Keep challenging. There we go. Perfect. Yeah. Winner. You also seem to have very little in the way of a middle ground for the the first few like or for when you fight when it comes to enemies. They either have really laid back defensive AI and don't do much. Or they have really crazy aggressive AI. Level up. Four might. Zero defense. Three vitality. Max health up by ten. Yeah. We will. And now I'm going to probably speed up these next two fights so you'll see them playing in probably double speed or I will skip forward to after they are done because I want to save time and show you as much of this game as I can like I said earlier so let's begin
We will. Now you will fight the five top level fighters. Prepare yourself. They are very skilled. Oh wow. There are five more of these guys. Begin. <laughs> right. I guess I'll um Yeah, this is this is one slight gripe I do have. Sometimes when you go to train at temples, there might be like two or three disciples before you actually fight the Grand Master. And sometimes there's like ten of them. So, I'll fight a couple more, just so you guys, you know, are, well, experiencing the game at its fullest. I don't mind this stuff, but I imagine it might be boring for some people to watch. I don't mind it all, though I like it. And then after I've fought a couple more guys, we're going to be playing the old Skipperoo again. Well... At least until we get a level up, because I want you guys to see the level ups and see how our skills are looking. Oh, this is... I've totally forgot that playing Hungar was one of those temples where you fight, like, ten disciples. Oh, yeah. And obviously, you can see we're doing a lot less damage now. These are the harder disciples with more health. Got him. Perfect. Winner. Right. Okay, right. So where does that put us in terms of our actual stats and levels? Yes, this is definitely going to be fun for trimming and editing purposes. I'll give it that. Very fun. I mean, by doing this video, it adds me to the, the ranks of the very few people that have actually done YouTube videos on this game. Like, um, there's probably about, I don't know, maybe on the whole of YouTube, maybe about 40 or 50 videos on this game. Keep in mind, we'll speak contextually here. Like, probably, as I said, 40 or 50 videos from across the whole of YouTube on this nearly 20 year old game. Oh, it's Jan. What is the matter? Come on now, tell me. God, this 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 game is it's like, oh yeah, we're just gonna neg on people. Oh, you're an interesting one. Very well. If you defeat me, you'll be perm permitted to be with me for a day. Will you fight? I won't hold back. Ready? Here I come. But yeah, if you type in Shaolin PS1 on YouTube search, outside of the soundtrack, there are maybe a, a handful of other people that have done playthroughs of this. Like, a, a literal handful of people that have done playthroughs of this, done gameplay, and I think two or three people have done a review, and that's it. So I know I'm amongst the minority here. Right. Perfect. Okay. Winner. Yeah! It was fun to play with you, old man. These okay, that was a that was some choice voice acting right there. I am more than concerned. But yeah, the Jap if you listen to the Japanese version of this, the actual Japanese Lord of Fist variant, or the Japanese version, well, yeah. The, you know, Japanese voice acting sounds pretty decent. All right, let's go. 
Oh, wow. Yeah, you can actually ask that girl to go on a date with you. And if you win, she says yes. You're a kung fu apprentice, right? I'm envious. I applied, but the temple turned me down. They said that studying kung fu to attract pretty girls was not appropriate. I want to learn the hungar style as well. I wonder if that would attract women. What? This this playthrough is basically teaching some very, should we say, iffy lessons. That as long as... As long as you are masterful in the art of kung fu, you can attract... You know, attract attractive women. Oh, someone's coming towards us. Let's play. But yeah, I want the... um. I want to play the game until the point where we actually, you know, get a bit older and age up into essentially a, a teenager. Because obviously the the aging process is, is is very straightforward. You go from a kid to a teenager to a young adult to a full fledged adult. Okay. Oh god. Let them fight each other for a bit. There we go. That's one thing I did find good, how they will fight e If they hit each other in battle, they'll start fighting each other. There we go. Winner. Nice. Alrighty. The the outstanding voice acting. Okay, right. We should be level three now, which means I'm gonna show you guys the inn because you can go and sleep at the inn. Usually, the character has like um, either a grandfather or an adopted um, like father figure who runs the local inn, who will allow them to basically stay there. So our endurance has lowered a bit. One might. That's a really bad level up. Receive copper and experience points. Okay. Right. So what I'm going to do... We're going to visit the... The restaurant. Heal up a bit, because you've taken some... Damage. Okay. So we'll grab some more vegetarian soup. Yes, we will have the vegetarian soup. Oh, I love Chinese soup. Chinese soup is so nice. I mean, this also plays big time into my culinary likings because I am a huge fan of Chinese food. Like, oh my god, you don't even know it. Like, um... Back when I was actually on campus... For my attending business school. My Chinese friend actually offered He was like, Oh yeah, um when you have a, a free day, you should um come to my dorm and me and my friends will cook you know lunch for you. I should have taken him up on the offer. I never did, and I feel so sad now. Because obviously everybody's indoors. Because of the world situation. And uh, he's gone back home. So, yeah. Right. Ah, you return. Will you rest now? Yes, we will. Good night. Uh, now there's an option to save. We will do that. Just to... um. So if we die, we can reload. Because at the early levels, it's very easy to die in this game as you witnessed. There we go. John, level 3, Hungar, 78 copper, which is your currency, 27 minutes play time. Right. Okay. So, guys. We're nowhere near done yet. For real, you'll be late for your training. Do as you were told and train hard. You are destined to go far. With time, I believe you will outshine your teacher. Someday this inn will be yours and you will have the skills to defend it. Now get going, and do not wander along the way. Sage advice from Grandfather. 
grandfathers are always, uh, you know, uh, always very good for sage advice. So, okay, right. We have temple fights to do. So, we'll do another one. And then I'm going to skip forward on all the rest. So you don't have to watch three consistently. Because I want to show you guys the fights against the Grand Master. That is my plan at least. To show you the, the fight against the Temple's Grand Master. I'm, I don't know which Grand Master it actually is. Um, for this Temple. I know the names of some. I think this one might be Grandmaster Huang or something. I don't know. Ah, that's a different move. Now, I really, really like Hungar because it's like one of the most flexible styles. It's very, very easy to use, and some of these styles are very, very technical. Uh, Eight Extremities Fist is one of those that's very technical, or Baji Kwan, as its uh, proper name is. Right. So, wow, will you continue? Uh, yeah, I'll continue, but what I'm going to do... I'm going to fast forward to having defeated all these disciples so we can go do a bit more training and then go fight the Grand Master. And there we have it guys. All ten disciples have been defeated and we leveled up off screen and got to level four. So... There we are. Our next sort of obstacle is defeating the Grand Master. Which is going to be quite the undertaking. Considering that, you know, we are only level 4. But there is a way in Fujo City to actually, you know... Level up a bit more than you would in other places. Welcome to the Hall of Darkness. You place a bet, then you fight. Give it a try. Basically, street fighting. No other city has this. Each time you win, the prize amount will be increased by one third. You may have up to ten matches, lose a match, and you lose your wager. How much will you bet? We'll bet half. Okay, here's your opponent. Now... Fujo is the only city that has the Hall of Darkness, and it's a very good way to get copper for the game. Not that you ever need much of it, because by the time you've reached maybe a few hundred, you've probably got enough to get you through most of the game. There we go. Perfect. Winner. And the Hall of Darkness does have a very nice fighting arena as well. I'll give it that. Yeah. It was fun to play with you, old man. Right. Okay. Hmm. I just want to get us to the point where you can see our character grow up to the next stage before we fight the Grand Master. That's my plan. Age up to the next stage fight the Grand Master and then we should be about ready to call it because I like to keep these about an hour long 
Right. Will you continue? Yeah, we'll do one more. It better not give us some really, really hard opponents. Because... The, the opponents it can give you are really random, and sometimes it gives you some really powerful opponents. So I'm taking a calculated risk here. Like... I could end up fighting somebody really strong. And I'm only level 4. So... That hitting the floor sound. Slam. Okay. Right. Yeah! I can hear your bones creak. It's weird. Usually we've sort of aged up by this point. Bizarre. Really bizarre, actually. Okay, I'll tell you what I might do then. i tell you what I might do. Just to make life easier. If we... Don't actually age up yet. We'll see. Pretty good. You earn some copper. Will you continue? I'm going to do a couple more off screen. Until we hit level 5. And then we'll return. Because I want to see if we do actually age up. I want to actually see if we are going to do that. Because it also gives you stat boosts. Amount of water. Damn it. Okay. Right. After this one, I'll do the next couple off camera to save time. For editing's sake. Perfect. Winner. Well, getting, mo getting him off the edge made things way easier. Okay. Fine by me. Yeah! Very good. Alright. This game actually has better graphics than I remember it having. Then again, a lot of pe a few people have hmm Well, a lot of people being that the few people that have actually played it and reviewed it have kind of said, Oh yeah, the graphics are kinda bad. I suppose for when it came out it was, but I, I think they're alright. Alright, most disappointing. Here's your share. I earned some copper. We're still not levelling up. Or we're still not aging up. Alright, fair enough. Um, We'll get to level 5 then. This next couple of fights will be off screen. And then I'll return when we're about ready to go and fight the Grand Master. That is the plan. Alright, we're back, but the game just does not want us to... The game does not want us to age up. Like, usually it, it does by this point, at least up to a teenager. Which is bizarre. Really bizarre. We'll sleep at the inn again. And see if that changes anything. Right, okay. Because usually the requirements to do so are really, really, really easy. At least for the first stage, it's like get a few levels, up your stats a bit, and then you're good. Right, okay. What I think we'll do, we'll have one more random... One more, like, you know, battle on the open world sort of area. And then, and what I think we'll do after that is probably go and, well, yeah, go and fight off screen until we do. Give me your money, a bandit. These are worth good experience. Level up. Nice. 
Yes, we got it. Okay. Our character is now going to grow up to be a, a teenager. Perfect. Right. So, we're still a young man. A dreamer. Very good. Level 6. I think now is the time to go and fight the Grand Master. Okay. And now the last hurdle is going to be defeating Grandmaster Huang, I think. Excellent, um, excellent, Jin. Your skills have taken you far. I am your last opponent. Shall we start the fight right away? Fine. If you are ready, we fight. He was. He will not be easy. You need to be at least well, recommended level to fight the Grandmasters. I'd say at least like level nine or ten. So we're slightly under leveled for this. You should at least grow up to a, a teenager or a, or a young, you know, to make it easier, which I did. I mean, look at that. Right. This is going to take a while. Okay. Okay, he does a lot more damage than we do. We can do this. We can do this. Right, come on. Bring it. Keep a healthy distance. He hits hard. I love can't escape. The theme that plays when you fight bosses, though. Okay, right. For a for a game that was a a much lesser known project, Shaolin has a really good soundtrack. Come on, got him. Winner. We are the winner. Nice. Excellent. You need a nap, Grandpa. I am sure we do. I am sure we do. <sighs> okay. Right. Well, I'm sure he does. I mean, I'm personally feeling tired. And I'm nowhere near a grandpa, I'm in my 20s. But hey, <laughs> each to their own. Right, level up. Excellent. Winning the battles has earned me the dragon stance. This is the reason why I wanted to beat the Grand Master. Because you learn new moves as you progress through the temples. Jin learned a new technique. Very impressive, you've done well to improve your skills so much. And yet, yeah, this um, awesome music plays during the dialogue sometimes. Like now. My humble thanks, Grandmaster. If your girl is a pretty face, then you should set your sights on the most beautiful lady in the land. If you are persistent enough in your efforts, you should do well. Then I will put my whole heart into the search. I will tell you something of interest. It is said that a famous beauty can be found at the Shaolin Kung Fu School in Guangzhou. She is rumoured to be a spectacular beauty. If you have not yet met her, you should by all means go see for yourself. Excellent. Right, so we've learnt new moves. We've got Dragon Stance, L2 and R2, changes your fighting stance completely. And some attacks to use while in Dragon Stance. 
Um, our hat punch combo, rising black dragon claw, forward punch, and tilted dragon kick. Right, okay, yeah, we've, we've gone through this dialogue before. Right. No, don't do that, Silver. What we'll do is go and speak to our grandfather one last time before we leave town and begin on our legendary kung fu adventure. Right, okay. And uh, see if there's anybody else to talk to around town. Just for dialogue's sake. Okay. Peace is wonderful. Now that the bandit leader is dead, everyone can live at ease. We can do everything we please. Ah, peace. Peace is indeed nice. Okay. Right. It's been a real pleasure bringing this part to you guys. I've had a lot of fun with it. Although editing it down to be an hour, as opposed to probably the hour and a half I've recorded, is going to be fun. Let's see what our grandfather says before we go. Congratulations, Jim. You defeated the Grandmaster. Yes, father. Ah, he's your father in this one. Ah, in some he's your father. In some he's your grandfather, in some he's your guardian, and in some he's your, like, adopted father. So he's your father in this one. Your words of encouragement strengthened my will to fight. Success was my reward. <laughs> your words honor me. Thank you for fulfilling my dream. I no longer worry about leaving this place in your hands. Yes, and I promise to continue my training. Ho <laughs> ho! So, you will. And now, will you rest? Yes, I will. Good night. And we'll be on our way to another town. Morning, Jin. Will you go out and train again? It is a fine thing for you to improve your skills. As for me, I am growing old. It would be nice if you could look after me while I get old in peace. Oh well. It's better that you seek your own path. But do not allow your ambition to exceed your skills. Okay. Ah, you return. Will you rest now? Nah, I think we're good. I'll tell you what. I'm going to drop a save here. So if you guys want to see another part of this in Silver Try, so we can just come straight back to it. Ah, uh, literally just over an hour. An hour and I think that was seven seconds. All right, wait there then. Um, remember, remember not to take on more than you can handle. We'll eat one more time to have our vitality bar full. Then we'll drop uh, another save and I'll wind this down. Yeah, we should be well within our hour long bracket for silver tries. Especially since a lot of this was off-camera. But yeah, this game, each individual playthrough, I'd say is about maybe four hours long. The beginning of the game starts off steady. And then it really picks up pace and gets quicker as you go along. If you do a really chill playthrough of it, then... I would say you're looking, yeah, probably about four hours, five on the high end if you really take things slow and do a lot of training. Yep, come again another time. Right, okay. Now, after we leave the starting town, things cost money, which is copper. And I do think that we have enough copper to cover our expenses. Okay, are you returned? Will you rest now? Yep. And I'm going to save one more time. So we can always pick up in a... new town. In fact, you know what? I'll show you a new town before we end. In fact, we'll follow the Grandmaster's advice and go to... 
Was it was it Guangzhou? I think it was. We'll go to Guangzhou. I'll show you the travel map as well. So you get the full experience from start to finish. Okay, now loading. So we can go up to Shanghai, down to Guangzhou, or over to Changsha. Right. We'll go Guangzhou, as per the, the Temple Master's advice. There we go. Travel to a new area. Guangzhou City, the Shaolin, Tem yeah, Shaolin Temple. Okay. Now we're going to go to the inn. Our peaceful world. There. Yeah. You will train and search for a beautiful woman at the same time. This is for helping to brighten my day. This is for making me feel happy. So happy. Take it. I got 50 copper. Peace truly is wonderful. Yeah, there are some playthroughs and storylines where people react really well to you. And there are others where people are really nasty. Like, in some, you are, you know... There's, there's a ton of different storylines. In the Shaolin one, you're like a... Uh, you're like an orphan... Cha well, you're like avenging the murder of his parents. His or her parents. In Jeet Kune Do, you're like a, a legendary... Well, you set out to become a legendary martial arts hero to defeat a demon that's been unleashed to destroy the world. In the... I think Tai Chi one... No, the Eight Extremities Fist one, you're an orphan child who's poorly treated by everybody. So you search the land in quest of, you know, for dominance and become the leader of a massive bandit, you know, tribe or, yeah. Tai Chi, I think you are on a, a quest to pretty much avenge the person who killed your ad adopted like grandfather or something hungar you're on a quest to like find the prettiest woman in the land and drunken boxing you're the reincarnation of a god a dragon god who pretty much holds the secrets to immortality or something like that oh no you've got to stop a bandit leader from finding the secrets of immortality but yeah this was shaolin we've been going for about an hour and I have greatly enjoyed bringing it to you. So if you want more, I can quite easily pick up where we left off and carry it on. Not just as, um, well, more silver tries. Or, if you want a different storyline, we could play one of the different ones as a, a full-on playthrough part. But yeah, I do reckon that this is where we'll leave it. So guys, I have been Silver, your host. Have a fantastic morning, afternoon or night, and I will see you again very soon. Take care guys.